Hello viewers, we have a thermometer failure. When I came home earlier this week, I was getting an unbelievable reading of 1% on the hygrometer. Right now we're getting a 61% reading, and on this one we're getting a 70% reading. Now I do have a third sensor, which we're going to look at now, although sometimes there's a little discrepancy with this one because it's closer to the water than the other two are. But it's been pretty windy today, so maybe it'll be pretty similar. This one's claiming 70, so it is pretty similar. So there is something wrong with the receiver for these thermometers. There's actually four display units that are working off of this one sensor. So this one, this one actually as well as this one, all claim an accuracy of 2%. And for the most part, when everything is working properly, the readings are within 2% of each other. Sometimes, oftentimes actually, they're the same. So I'm a little irritated that this is happening because this particular thermometer, it works off of a sensor like this. And the sensor that's out there right now is not that old. So the whole story behind this debacle is I originally had two thermometers. I had this one, this is the first one I ever had. And then I had this other one in the bedroom this big one here. I had this one and that, that white one in the computer room. And I had this one in here and then the other one in the computer room. And that was okay. I always wanted another one for the bathroom, but you know, I, I didn't really need it. So I never bought one because they're not that cheap. So at some point that white one, we'll go back and look at that one. This white one started screwing up and the reception became pretty intermittent. There was times it would work for you know, two days at a time, and then quit for three weeks, or work for four weeks and quit for two weeks, whatever. It was very inconsistent. Actually, side note, there is another thermometer under here, but this one's only an indoor thermometer. Anyways, so this one is becoming unreliable for the most part, but I still had the one in here, this one, and this one was giving accurate reading, so I just kind of made do with it as it was, again, because the units aren't that cheap. So then this one quit, and this was giving me haywire readings. I think it was saying something like negative 40 degrees for the temperature all the time, and the humidity was whatever it was, I don't remember. So at that point, I had zero working thermometers. And it got to the point where it was starting to be fall, or maybe it was fall, I don't remember. But it was starting to get cold out at night, and so I wanted to know what the temperature was before I left to go to work, so I knew what jacket to put on. And so I needed a working thermometer. So somewhat out of desperation, I went to the Home Depot to see if they had any there. And I was absolutely outraged by the cost of the units they had there. So I ended up getting the cheapest one they had, which even then I think wasn't all that cheap. And it only had temperature, it didn't have humidity. Now I don't so much care about the humidity outside, but I do care about the humidity inside during the winter because when it gets low, you know, you, you, the skin gets itchy or you wake up with a sore throat in the morning or whatever, nonsense like that. And so I do like to monitor the indoor humidity and make sure the vaporizer is going accordingly to keep it at a comfortable level. So, once again, the search was on for a new set of thermometers. So I did some more research on the internet, read a whole bunch of reviews, compared it to prices, and ultimately settled on this unit as the one that I would get to replace all the other crazy thermometers. So the one unit that I got from Home Depot, I still have it. I ended up putting it downstairs in the shop because I don't care about the humidity downstairs. So that one's downstairs. It just reads indoor and outdoor temperature as a small clock on it and it works great for the shop. But for upstairs, I wanted one that had big numbers because I really liked this one because the number is pretty big and you can walk in the room and see this big number from across the room. So I really like this display. I could not get another one. They stopped making them. So it turns out this one was the most comparable in terms of display size. And I liked it because it had the clock on it. It had the date, which is kind of nice. The other one didn't have the date. It has a moon phase. I hate the moon. I don't care what phase this stupid thing is at. But it's got the day of the week, the time indoor outdoor humidity and it also has uh, low and high per the day which is accurate because it has a clock on it this other one here 
has a high and a low, but it's not accurate because it doesn't have a clock on it. And so this doesn't reset for like three days. So even though it says today is low and today is high, it, it may not have been from today. In fact, I can tell you that's not from today. That's from yesterday, the 26th, because it was in the 40s when I woke up this morning. If we look at this one here, let's get a low. It was only 39 last night. So that's what I'm talking about as far as the inac inaccuracy of the low and high. But anyways, so I decided I liked this unit the most. It was it seemed to me like the best value for the features it had. It had what I wanted it to have. So I said, all right, I'm just going to order three of them, one for the bedroom, one for the computer room, and one for the bathroom. And forget all this nonsense because it's driving me nuts. I just need thermometers that work. So that's what I did. I got three of these. And I'm really happy with the display. I like the size of it. I like the clarity, the readability. It's got a nice light on it. Everything's fine and dandy with these thermometers. Now, I kind of goofed up a bit because just out of curiosity, I put batteries back in this one once I got the new ones working. And lo and behold, this one picks up the sensor signal from the new sensor, which I was not expecting because this sensor here is the sensor for this old thermometer. And this sensor looks nothing like this sensor, which is the one that comes with this. So I really had no expectation of it working. Well, shame on me for assuming that's what I get. This is my fate. I have extra thermometers now. This one works, which is great, but I could have saved myself the money of buying only two of these because I could use the other one in here and well, anyways, so I was a little bitter about that, but I got over it and whatever. So now, that was fall 2018. We're in just about to be March of 2019, and I'm already having a issue with, or an issue with uh, the humidity. Now, you'll notice that the one in here is now working, that insult to injury... A $13 part fixed this one, so I really could have gone without this one. And because someone gave me this one for Christmas, I could have gone without this one. And because that one works, I could have gone without this one. I could have just put the other thing in here. So at the end of the day, all I really needed to buy was one of these. The $13 part for the one in the bedroom, and then I got that one for Christmas, which I didn't really need, so everything would have been fine with just one of these, but whatever. So, because I bought three of these, I also ended up with three of these. And because this one lasted, I don't say about four or five years, I figured, you know, if I have three of these, I'll put one out at a time. This will last me a good long time, because the indoor units never seem to fail. This one's been going for a long time now. So, I expected to have this whole crazy system going for a long, long time because I have to go through three of these before I really have an issue. And I expected this to last several years. Apparently that's not the case because we haven't even gotten through maybe half a year and it's already screwing up. So, anyways, I pulled out one of these this is a new one. I've never used it yet. And I'm going to go outside and I'm going to put this one outside instead of the other one and see what happens. If this is working, once again I get accurate readings, then I'm going to call Accurite and have an outburst because these aren't cheap and they should last longer than that. So let's go outside, change out the batteries, and put this new one into place. Spring is coming. You can hear those frogs going. So, we're outside now. This is where the thermometers are. So, I forget which one is which, but one of these is for that little unit downstairs, which is just temperature. And one of these is for the now four units upstairs that are temperature and humidity. This is the sensor for the one at the desk in the computer room. And then down there on the fence, which is very blurry, that one is the larger one in the bedroom. So let's see here. These two 
This one is, is uh, temperature only. This one is temperature and humidity. And actually this one claims twice as much range. I don't know if I subscribe to that or not, I don't know. But anyways, this one is not the one that I want to work with, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one back here. And what we're going to do with this one here, let's get this tripod set up. We're going to take the batteries. It is flashing, so it's still transmitting. It's just not transmitting accurately for some reason, which makes the transmission more or less worthless. So we're going to take the batteries out of here. And these are Energize lithium batteries. I don't like lithium batteries normally, but I do find that they they stand up better to temperature extremes than any other kind of battery does. So that's why I use them in, in these kind of applications. And they last a good long time too. The set of these will last me several years in here. We should have a flashing light here any minute. There we go. So that just transmitted. So let's put this back. Okay, those are both set up now. And this is actually a great place to put them because they're protected from the rain and the sun. So, all right, let's go put this one back. Uh, I'll put this in the house. Let it, I don't know, what in the world could have happened? Maybe I'll open it up and just clean it and see if that makes any difference. Gotta bring that in before it gets cold, or dark rather. Well, it's gonna get cold too, but whatever. Okay, so I just replaced it. And I'm surprised to see that we still have a 61% rating. It's like that on the other one too. So that's baffling to me. I would think this would have refreshed by now, but just to be certain, let's go ahead and give it a reset. And it's going to hold the date and time because that's stored by a separate battery. And let's see what kind of a reading we get in here. 45%? Oh, huh, darr. That unit was just in the house. So of course it's not going to be accurate. i got to let it sit for some time. And we'll pick up this video in about an hour, so it's had some time to adjust and uh, reacclimate to the outdoor temperature. I don't know how long it's been since I recorded a previous clip, but this is not looking too promising. The humidity has gone up. It's now 76%, and it's been long enough for it to get dark out, so it's, it's, I think it's been a couple hours. And the humidity, although it's on the rise, it's still not catching up. The temperature has caught up on the other hand. I find it inconceivable that there would be an issue with the receivers that's causing the problem because it, it's fine on this one as well. I mean, well, it's not fine. It's getting the same reading on this one as well. That's a whole different model. And there's three instances of that model, and they're all getting the same reading. I, I suppose that you could say hold on I gotta get the camera cord untangled because the battery doesn't hold any charge to get any productions done oh this this is off this is great camera work um, this this one here it's it's pretty comparable to the one in the other room I guess it's not totally inconceivable that both of these units are failing in the same way and having an inaccurate reading and these are actually accurate but I find that highly, highly unlikely. I guess there's no way to tell. I tend to believe this one more though because it's been raining on. Uh, it's been raining a little bit today, at times. So it's it's very damp out. So I tend to believe it's more towards 80% than 55%. So I'm I'm pretty confident in the fact that these are reading okay. So I don't know what is going on with this other sensor. I have one more sensor that I can try and see if that one gives a different reading or not. I'm going to let it sit overnight so it has a lot more time to adjust and then we'll see what tomorrow brings. If it's not accurate by tomorrow I'm going to try yet the third sensor and then that doesn't work I don't know what I'm going to do. It's the next day. 
When I got up this morning, there was still a major discrepancy. I want to say it was about 15% lower on this one than it was on this one. And, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Okay. Anyways, um, this, what happened was when the humidity started to burn off from the sun, there was a point in time where this one started to come down and this one was staying, it was coming down, but it's much slower. And there's a point where they intersected and we're reading about the same. And then over the course of the afternoon, as it kind of started to level out and become more of a constant uh, humidity level, this one started to fall behind again. Now right now, 43 and 45, this is within the manufacturer's claim of accuracy. Can you just relax? However, interestingly enough, the other one, which usually reads lower, is reading a little bit higher, 46. So we have 46 versus 43, which again is still within the manufacturer's claimed accuracy uh, because you can have to 4% discrepancy and that's still achieving the plus or minus 2% claim. So I don't know what's going on with these things. I'm going to look at it some more. Uh, I'll observe it over the next couple of weeks and see what happens. Either way, I think there's something still a little fishy about it, and there's definitely some more testing to be done.